Hey people, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Elliot Fair Principle. I'm your host, Shaheen. Uh, we have a lot to discuss when it comes to gold and silver. The reason is uh, some of the indices are going to behave differently, especially the large uh, uh, miners, the senior miners are going to behave a bit differently and we're going to discuss it. We'll discuss uh, D, uh, GDX, and which is senior miners, and then we'll discuss GDXJ, which is expected to behave a bit differently. We'll discuss the uh, metal itself, which is behind these miners, which is gold, and then we'll try to look at silver as well. So we have quite a bit of luck as a whole. Uh, the whole mining, uh, gold and silver mining sector, the metals itself are expected to be in a bullish run for next, I would say, three years uh, and uh, three, three and a half years. But the problem is that what is expected on a smaller time frame, so we can take act behavior, uh, we can take some benefit of some trading as well. Uh, if you want to buy at a lower price, the especially, especially the metals, then today's advice is uh, going to be really valuable. And the whole reason, once again, I would like to mention is so that we can see what, what different patterns are expected in different uh, sectors of the market uh, related to gold and silver. In front of us is a gold chart. And we would like to uh, discuss what gold chart is expected to do. Even though we would like to uh, see gold uh, moving faster all the way up, what ha what is happening is that we have seen a clear 5 wave structure almost. You can clearly see we have a clear 5 wave structure over here, correction, and another 5 wave structure we are expected to see at the end of it. The important point is what is how this uh, structure, especially the later part, is unfolding and what to expect after the structure is complete. An important thing that we want to include, and I was worrying that how it's going to happen, is that we need to look at the larger structure. Excuse me. All of a sudden, I've decided to be a bit cheap and I've canceled my paid subscription and that's why you're seeing this message. Anyway, what I'm talking about is that I was uh, of a point that we had this range going on for almost uh, from July of 2020 to all the way back to 2022, um, almost end of 2022. So it's, uh, it's good two and a half years, almost data, two years of data. And then once prices have gone up and seen correction, we have not actually seen a retest of this value. Uh, so I was expecting how is it going to happen? Uh, and the least thing that we are going to see right now is this what I was not expecting it, but right now market art forces are expecting more and more that we are expected to see a, a deeper correction as soon as this five wave structure is complete. That deeper structure probably would be sharper structure and that would help a lot of uh, buyers to get into the swing as well. It will also confirm the large time frame uh, bullish count in gold as well. That is that the low would be coming uh, on top of the previous resistance and then we have also a swing which is uh, started from over here so we have a, a swing and then we have a higher low as compared to the previous low and then we are also about to complete this swing and then we'll see a higher low so this will bring around a lot of momentum into the move and the next move uh, should be absolutely uh, kind of a third of a third of a third of wave. It's not going to be exactly the third of third in, in count, but in terms of momentum, we shall see a lot of momentum. Anyway, too much to count and talk a bit too early. Let's get back to our daily time frame and see what I'm talking about on a smaller time frame. So we have a clear structure that's in front of us. And I'm thinking that we have a one and two and we have three and four going on right now. We'll discuss four a bit. And four is yet not complete. And then after all, we're expected to complete a five. The important point uh, is that we are in the lower band. If you look at this uh, parallel channel, in, we are in the lower band of the channel. We have spent a lot of time. Uh, so there's quite a possibility that we are not going to see a, a sharper move coming out of the triangle. All right. So the wider the triangle that we have is spent a lot of time and we are also in the lower range. Uh, so what I'm expecting for next few days is that first of all, we need to complete the triangle, the expanding triangle. A lot of people are looking it into a triangle ending right over here. I don't think so. We have price structure, which is not uh, showing us uh, the triangle. Uh, let me show you what the other trial there is a possibility people are looking into a structure and once again the structure is there uh, but it is a bit defe deceiving move aside buddy so a lot of people are looking at this structure maybe and they're saying that maybe the triangle is already complete 
okay and which is one two three four and five but it looks less likely that it's going to happen the uh, the price action after the triangle is not matching up uh, the expected price behavior so i have to change it a bit differently and i think that we have completed wave a b c this is wave d and then wave e is kind of going to be uh, a flat correction so we are expecting a behavior like this i believe that we are going to see a b c structure um, and that would complete the uh, triangle after that we're expecting a swing upward and we do not expect the prices to go beyond this middle line and once that is complete a drop below the support line would confirm that we have seen the top of wave 5 as soon as the price jumps back into the territory of this triangle uh, we can go short in before waiting to uh, for the prices to drop and once again a sharper move is expected to drop below and the, the important support line which is in wave 4 uh, retest it and then come back down it's quite a bit of wave structure maybe next i would say couple of months that we are going to do after we have seen the fifth wave uh, immediately we are expecting next three four days to complete the structure which is right over here that should complete the triangle then once again we are expecting about a couple of weeks uh, to do this and after that we are expecting probably about a couple of months to maybe two to three months and maybe to complete this structure right over here uh, so we have a lot to go and the reason i expect i explained all of this way in advance is is uh, i'm looking at a structure that's a bit different in uh, gold miners first we look at gdx and gdxj and then you'll also try to look at uh, gold i have done some of the analysis on new mount we we'll look at new mount and i think i've got some metalla I have been looking at Metalla as well. So you look at Metalla as well. Let's have a good look at GDX5, for example. Along with GDX, we'll look at uh, the senior miner, which is NEM, Newmont. And the important thing that we are here seeing here is that, uh, let me delete that. The important thing that we are seeing right over here is that we have seen uh, a higher high uh, clearly from this bottom, right? If you look at this bottom we have seen prices go up and come down the structure this kind of retest the previous the top so it is in very good hand i would say the seniors are doing good right and we're expecting to move uh, a higher move as compared to uh, we are seeing gold so i think that the even though gold is not going to move up sharply and uh, miners are especially the seniors are going to do a bit different as uh, seniors expected to continue their up move unless they complete the uh, strong move upward and then we are expected to see a correction which is not going to be as deep as we are expected to see gold itself and uh, the reason is because a lot of money is coming in into seniors and uh, especially the big organization are spending a lot of money putting a lot of money in the seniors as well not so much in juniors so let me show you the chart what i'm expecting in terms of the larger structure next few weeks i would say uh, and that was the next three weeks maybe we might see a sharper move upward that should complete wave uh, three and then once once gold gets into a sharper move like we have here i'm talking about this move i'm expecting that instead of going a deeper zigzag and there's a possibility that newmont is not going to go at uh, sorry we are looking at gdx my head so there's the possibility that when gold goes deeper gdx which is a senior miners is only going to do a flat correction something like this right over here which has spent a lot of time let's have a look from april 2024 to june 24 uh, 12 june and this is uh, 15 so almost two months of we're expecting once again two months of of a side wave here so this is an important point if you are only interested in gold uh, senior miners this is a good point to go long i would be long at this point and would not worry about a sharper correction on the downside till very late okay and once again that's not guaranteed that the pullback that you're seeing right over here this is not guaranteed if we might see that the price is kind of this behavior all right so for now we're just keeping things a bit simple uh, finding support for this 5 wave structure in the fourth wave that's what it is right now so i believe that we have completed one two and we are still going in wave three that's why gdx or and the minor seniors are expected to behave differently as compared to the gold itself and once again it 
it is completely um, dependent on the volume, the underlying forces that we have. Uh, you can clearly see the behavior once I show you GDXJ, uh, the behavior is different. So this is GDXJ. Now GDXJ is already pulled quite much. This move on the upper side is not as much. Uh, let's have a look and uh, compare it. And uh, you'll probably see what I'm talking about. Let me put a GDXJ on top, a GDX on top of it, okay? So, GDX, there it is, uh, yeah, so you want a new price scale, okay, let's close it, so this is what I'm talking about, we can once again uh, make the, this chart a bit, uh, mm, let's go into settings, instead of line chart, we can actually make the style, um, candlesticks we can actually use candles and we can use uh, body and border okay I hope so hopefully this is the darker colors okay let's have a look we can use the different colors but now makes sense okay and let me zoom in a bit so you can actually see a bit so the lower band that we have here is the correction right over here going through the lower band that you can see is clearly correction and that after that correction is still going on price did not go beyond this area sharply while in gdx which is this one right over here you can see the correction is right over here and the price has sharply gone out of it it's kind of and look also the pullback the pullback is way deeper right over here and then we can see that it's not as deeper in gdx as well that's why i'm expecting that uh, we might have to look a bit more for a couple of days and see how deep this gets but I think that we have seen a sharper move on the upper side in GDX um, which is not as sharp in GDXJ okay that's what I'm talking about let me delete it and okay so I've deleted the GDX uh, chart now and we can have a bit more clarity right now so here you look can we call this as wave one and two and this is wave three and we're right now going to a triangle uh, we're definitely looking to a messy messy uh, uh, messy structure right here and I right now I'm thinking that maybe we'll see a deeper road low right over here and the structure becomes ABC a b c and then a deeper pullback that will bring the price back again in gdxj to the previous lows okay once again once the gdx is expected a side wave behavior i'm expecting that gdxj would be a, a more deeper pullback the reason is the volume lack of volume and hence the structure is a bit different so the this blue line is very important and i think once the price is pulled back they'll probably find support in this area and after that we expected to see a sharper move and that's why i'm thinking that gdx if you have an, any stock in gdxj wait for a pullback wait for the price to go up and take your profits because correction coming after that is going to be deeper and i'm thinking that deeper correction is going to be part of the previous structure right over here that's what my analysis say that the GDX is going to GDXJ is going to give us a second chance and then I'll prove this my case with uh, for GDXJ with Metella okay and for uh, one uh, of the whole basket we'll look at Newmont uh, when we're trying to look another example for GDX so for Metella which is GDXJ uh, part of GDXJ and I want to show you the behavior that we have here okay it's absolutely it's like nothing moved gold moved so much silver moved so much metalla being a good royalty company it, it was doing at 12 dollars at times and still look at it what does it tell you that the structure is yet going on and we haven't found the strength that we were expecting to see and the reason being is that larger structure that we have in GD, gdxj is of um, not of an impulse wave yet we are probably the last stage of the previous structures right now okay either way you want to say I want to look at this structure and this is what I'm looking at it right now is that in days to come we are to see this behavior okay 
and then once this goes i am i have a position in g uh, metal actually once this goes up i'm out it's been a uh, horrible uh, and then i'm expecting a double bottom back to 232 which is going to be uh, a lot when going coming down from 330 to 232 um, so 30 percent drop right this is uh, look at there's absolutely no strength in metalla and same you can see most of the stocks in gdxj all right so let's have a look at an example of a stock which is doing really great and which is newmont okay and i have a position when a lot of people were negative about newmont i had a position somewhere i think bought at 45 dollar this is uh, not this is uh, a new york version but i have uh, this other version which is canadian version but I bought one at a good position, which is at 45, and I'm holding on to it. So let's have a look at Newmont, uh, the one most people are going to use, probably the American version. So here, look at it. It's doing really great. You don't get an impression that this move is part of this move, right? That's what gold is showing right now. That's what I'm saying, that Newmont and GDX on its own is doing really great. In fact, the correction that we are seeing kind of feels like a correction of uh, this wave right over here. So we're going to come back a bit about, and once again, this low is going to be above of the previous structure. This and it actually tells you that we are, once this structure is complete, the, and once this structure is complete, we're expecting a sharper move maybe towards around uh, 70 ish dollars, sharper move upside. Because remember, we are going through wave three right now. So right now, basically wave one and correction, which is wave two. And right now, wave three is going on. So smaller wave one and two and three and four and a sharper move on the upside, somewhere around maybe 60 ish, 75, 70 ish dollar. The sharper move is expected anyway in new mount as well. And that's an example. That's one of the stock which is in, included in GDX. I think it is at least. It's a senior, senior stock. Enough of that. Um, and uh, let's come back and have a look. Let me show you the larger picture as well. Just give me a moment. So some of you guys are wondering um, what I'm expecting. And I think uh, this is what I'm expecting, that this structure, when it's complete, um, and the larger pullback, once the fiber structure is complete, in gold and silver as well, we're expecting a good uh, correction that should price put the prices uh, on top of the previous structure and from this right over here the prices should continue this whole structure is a 5 f structure okay from the bottom right over here that's what i'm saying that if you look at it uh, we are right from the bottom so we are right now let's say bring it over here okay and maybe nine cases right over here So two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Yeah. So the next target probably is somewhere around sixty-eight ish dollars, sixty eight, sixty-nine dollars for it. Let's delete that and let's have a look at silver. Here is silver. A lot of people are surprised now why silver is not skyrocketing. Once again, uh, the reason being is I think that we are expecting a deeper correction in gold and silver tends to do its homework earlier than gold. So let's have a look at the structure. Okay. We need to have a look at them. Clearly, we have an impulsive wave, which is not exactly a five-wave structure. It looks like a zigzag, but uh, the after action confirms that we had actually a zigzag, uh, an impulsive wave right over here. And then from this bottom, we have once again an impulsive wave. So we need, are expecting uh, the correction or the to be um, a ratio of the previous wave right over here. So I think that we are going to do good uh, once the price structure is complete. But we need to wait for the price structure. And I think uh, coming uh, in the next three, four days, we are expecting for the price to come down right over here, so in this range. Uh, that should uh, be completing uh, reaching the price target of the previous low and after that we're expecting a sharper move upside and a lot of time on the side wave structure so i think once prices drop the next week in the layer structure that will be a very good buy 
and I think that should be the low uh, for a good time to come. Well, let's have a look at four hourly time frame. Maybe I can uh, identify a good pattern. So, do you guys see a clear five structure from the top right over here? And then, then you guys see that it's a messed up correction that we have right over here. So I'm expecting right now that we are into the corrective part of it. All right. I'm expecting that the correction is yet going on. Let me. And a move on the bearish side is expected to continue somewhere over the next few days to come. All right. And after that, we expect it to go on the bearish side and the correction sideways. Hope I was of some assistance. Um, if you guys can also use uh, a very important block. Now, what happened is uh, if you look at the previous low. Okay. Just as a guide. Hope I was of some assistance, uh, especially the difference between the different patterns that we have going on in GDX and GDXJ. Um, a deeper correction expected once the 5 f structure is complete in gold, but a not so deeper expectation uh, once the price uh, reaches, uh, once we have seen the bottom right over here. I think this will be a good bottom to buy and a sharper move shall carry the prices upward. Okay, wish you good luck with your trading. Have a good one and bye-bye.